name is Marcus Moore, and I'm a member with Picture the Homeless. Okay, and can you tell me a bit about the poem that you said today and how you visualize um, a sanctuary city to be? Well, I, 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 um, I, I wrote the poem in understanding today's time that we're in. It, it, it seems like it, it seems like people are running for 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 shelter. You know, people are look, are running to be secured and safe in in, in, in in cities and countries, and um, it seems like the climate has is being neglected, and and the animals are not being treated fairly. You know, we we have gotten away from the basics of things. You know, so that helped me to write the poem today. And can you talk a little bit about the vacant lots that we visited today? The, the, the vacant lots that we visited today was it's, it's lots that the city is just sitting on that has been vacant for for like since the in, in some cases since the 70s and the, the city is just sitting on them and, and not really doing anything with them right now. So Picture the Homeless, my organization, really want to shed light on on that issue because we did reports on how um, vacant lots are are are, are, um, are being not utilized while the people are in dying need of low income housing. And you also did a piece around the homestead, uh, the homesteaders. Can you talk a little bit about what that was like in your home and how they have rights also? Yeah. So. Um, I, I, I'm also a member of Theater of Press, so um, with Theater of Press, we do real life issues, and so that that have been borrowed from part of my life in my movie. Um, the, the homesteader scene is is um, a, a true scene where someone was actually in my house at the time where I was homesteading at, and the police um, was ready to throw me out. But once I showed proper documents and, and that I lived there, the police, instead of throwing me out, threw out the other people. So that has been influenced into uh, plays and things of that nature here in New York City. Alrighty, thank you so much, Marcus. My name is Jose Rodriguez, and I'm a member of Picture the Homeless. I'm also a member of Banana Kelly. Awesome. And can you tell me a bit about the lot that we're standing in front of? Yes, this, this lot here, um, at one time, it used to be, it was a huge building. And um, what happened was the city through in, imminent domain, what that means is, is that um, the city took over the lot for very, whatever reason, tax lien, whatever. The city came in, took, took the, um, the, um, the, actually it was a building and um, they, and they took it in the name of eminent domain. So what eminent domain is, is that they um, take buildings that are foreclosed or um, sore eyes in the community, demolish them, and um, usually they, the tenants, they displace them, they put them somewhere else, and um, with the guarantee that they're going to do something to, with, the, with the property. Well, as you can see today, the pro all the properties are, well, actually this property and the very first property that we um, went to were the both empty lots. They were both demolished through eminent domain. And as you can see, it's been decades and the city has did nothing with them. And almost, I could almost say that they're waiting for uh, speculators to come and purchase the property. and. We have pictures of the homeless. We say that this is city-owned property. There are thousands of homeless families, children um, that need sanctuary. How can the city say that that, that um, um, we're a sanctuary city when we have hundreds and thousands of of people of all languages struggling to pay bills and um, um, the city giving almost 80 percent of tax breaks for 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 um, um, companies to build high-rise luxury apartments.